One of the biggest things we're working on is what the warming of the planet's going to do to this part of the world. The huge volume of ice in the Antarctic ice sheets is enough to raise global sea level by 60 metres. So melting it's a bit of a problem for the rest of the planet. You know, one of the grand challenges of Antarctic science is understanding the entire ecosystem. If you look down there, you can see that the water is very, very still. We have lots of little critters living in the water. And on the seafloor, we can see starfish and, and other types of sponges. But what we're here to do is actually look down and then back up at the ice surface. And we're looking at the meadows of algae, sea ice algae that live underneath that create like the pasture for uh, the krill to live on. Sea ice is a home for krill. It's their only source of food. So if there's no sea ice, they die. And we know this happens because it's happened in the Antarctic Peninsula area. There's less krill for the penguins to eat. And yeah, penguins' numbers are declining. This water is what we call supercooled. It's the coldest water on the planet, actually. It used to be ice shelf, so the ice shelf has melted. It's water that should have frozen, but it just hasn't had opportunity to yet. We have about two and a half metres of solid ice, and then underneath that, we have about four and a half metres of ice crystals that have floated up and landed at the bottom of the sea ice. It's really something that people haven't seen before. Working in Antarctica for me is one of the best experiences I've had so far as a scientist and also as a human being. It's amazing here. Science is just doing hard work shoveling snow down in Antarctica. How did my life get to this? But you might think Antarctica and New Zealand are a long way apart, and geographically they are. There's a big ocean that separates us, but actually that ocean also connects us. So if we do start to see changes here, we know that's quite significant because we expect it to be the slowest here. <laughs> and you've got to find what those subtle indicators are that you can look at and know that actually they tell you what the future holds. So cool. That was the best fun man I've had with my clothes on for a very long time. <laughs>